Greetings to you, my dear people. I hope that you are fine wherever you are. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone and also the time that you will watch this video. So I am fine as you can see. It's very, very cold here in Kenya. Not that extremely cold, of course, because you don't experience winter, but it is um, just cold because we are heading to July. So my people, hey, I have a lot of water water i don't know even where to begin and where to end but i believe and trust that you're gonna watch this video up to the end please give it a thumbs up before you watch this video start by liking it hey it means a lot to me you can also check out uh, my membership if that is what you would want and join my exclusive packs so my people let's dig in but before that let me remind you that this is a positive reaction channel we spread what love and positivity so if this is not your cup of tea mm -mm. just move to the next channel we have freedom of choice do you get the tingle we have freedom of choice <laughs> hey okay so that is it so my people i have uh two things in fact are they two or three mm -mm -mm -mm. three that i want to react on so the first one we have this lady hey the Bungoma witch, that is what she's called. So you know her. Do you know her? <laughs> if you don't know her, here she is. I'm going to pin her photo here. So I am Carrot. Yesterday, I was watching I am Carrot. And my people, let me tell you something. Hey, sometimes you look at these people and you wonder whether they are grown-ups. Sometimes you ask yourself whether they have common sense. Or rather, they have borrowed some senses. Hey, I am Carrot. Today, today it is you and me. I am Carrot was out there. Just imagine, out there. Mocking, celebrating that us, the small content creators, are not getting views. <laughs> Let me just laugh. That we are not getting views. We don't have subscribers. Just because of 10k subscribers, now that has made your head to swell. Remember everyone has their own audience. And it is not like we are competing. We are not competing. I looked at her doing an, 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 an analysis and she was out there abusing Min Hawi. If you don't know who Min Hawi is, uh, this is a content creator who is very close to Ayamara. Remember at some point during the party, she was a PA before Irene Jeb. So as uh, she was there mocking Minhawi, and the most uh, foolish thing that came out of her mouth is her ridiculing someone's relationship. Do you get the tingle? How can you just sit down and talk about Minhawi and Cloud Joseph? Really? <laughs> That is so funny. That is so funny. In fact, I, I don't get uh, the gist. I don't get the ginger. Eh? I don't get the ginger, as we say. I don't get the ginger in this thing. What is it? What are you trying to pull? If Minhawi has decided that she wants to date Cloud, jo uh, Cloud Joseph, who are we? Who are you to come and make comment about this relationship? And you know the way she was putting it, that karma is now... Uh, like Kama has now come big time on Min Hawi. Remember, Min Hawi was previously a positive content creator before she stopped and started doing vlogging. So they used to have a lot of um, wrangles with I Am Carrot and these other ladies from uh, Nigeria. So you know them. That one in Doha and that one in Germany. And Min Hawi would give them bumper to bumper, bumper to bumper. And they used to have a lot of, you know, a lot of. Um, uh, wrangles here on the whitey streets if you've been actually following these people so what i am carrot is trying to say is that <laughs> that mean how we would go out there make a video attack them abuse them and at night go sleep with cloud joseph and then come back in the morning uh do what again abuse them then during i don't know the day during the night she would go and sleep with cloud joseph my friend carrot you have your own husband is that your brother? No, that is not your brother. So let me not even go there. If Minhawi has been, you know, exchanging saliva with Cloud Joseph, 
These are two grown-ups. These are two grown-ups. <clears throat> Just like the way you are exchanging saliva with your hubby. Who has come to talk about your husband? So that you come and attack Minhawi. She has now started a narrative. I am not sure. Eh, me, I am not sure. Don't come here and attack me and say, Mary TV said, ah, ah. These are speculations. These are speculation. She has started a narrative. That Minhawi is expectant. She has a belly. Hey. Hey. I am Carrot. Are you sure of that? That Minhawi has a belly. And actually, I don't know. <laughs> if I know, I know. If I don't know, I'll come out here and tell you I don't know. So that if you decide to use my, uh, my video to do your own reaction, my words will be there. So when it comes to Minhawi, whether she's expectant or not, Mary does not know. But I am Carrot has started this narrative that Minhawi is expectant. And of course she said in her video, guys, I'm having a lot of challenges um, just spinning these videos. And it's because of everything that is happening here. There are a lot of things that are happening in Kenya. So it is kind of hard. But I'll try my best and just spin that video here. She says that she has an informer in Nyabohanse, which I can not refute. In the past, we've seen I am Carrot in Nyabohanse. I have been following her. <laughs> I have been following her religiously. And this lady, there's a time she went to Nyabohanse. She has been there. And therefore, when she says she has an informer, I think she is saying the truth. Because she has literally gone to Nyabohanse. Do you get the tingle? So she says, from a reliable source, Minhawi is expectant. And you know the way they want to bring this issue out here? Just to uh, shame our Minhawi. That Minhawi is older than Cloud Joseph. Hey, my people in Africa, age is just a number. Age is just a number. <laughs> age is just a number. Let people date whoever they want to. I know my audience from those ones that are international, and especially those ones that stay in USA. I have friends that, uh, that stay in USA that watch me. I have uh, viewers from Canada, Australia, uh, Jamaica, and such places. I know in such places you don't talk about age. So you know what they are doing? They want to pull strings, come up with their own narrative. They just want to drag the name of Minhawi in the mud that she's dating a young boy. Let me ask you, I'm Carrot. How old is Cloud Joseph? Now that you have your informer on the ground. And I am certain. I am certain. And there's nothing that you can tell me. I'm certain Cloud Joseph is above 18 years old. And if they're in a relationship with Minhawi, those are their own choices. As I always say, we all have freedom to make choices. We, are, we all have freedom to uh, just to do whatever we want to do. Because we are grown-ups. That is it. We are grown-ups. So I am Carrot. When you come here and say that because Minhawi is uh, has a belly, that now that is uh, karma working on her. Oh my God, children are blessings from God. How many people out there want babies and they can't get? Now you want to pull... What kind, of, what kind of nonsense are those? <laughs> hey, if she is expectant, is she expectant for you? Mm -hmm. Is she going to ask you to contribute to the diapers? None. The milk? The house help? Is she going to ask you for that? No. So please, you can do better than that, Carrot. You can do better than that. And this issue of you coming out here to, you know, to talk about how these small content creators cannot get views <laughs> who told you we are competing we are not competing actually you've been here longer than us that means that by now you should be having over 20k subscribers mm. you talked about minhawi you talked about uh what is the name of the first pa mm -hmm. i'm trying to uh to remember the name once i get the name i'll pin it here you talked about the first PA, you talked about Irene Jep and other small content creators that were not getting views. 
we we don't have subscribers my friend by now <clears throat> you should be at 20 and above and there's nothing that you can tell me there is nothing that you can tell me if you are the real tingo eh if you are the real tingo in yt by now anytime you drop a video hey whether it is a video whether it is a live stream it should just hit 10k views and above eh if you are the real thing oh if you are the queen as you want to insinuate if you are the queen yeah we should be seeing that don't come here and tell us your no nonsense mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, forget about that do you let people do them do you get the gist so my people hey this lady this lady i am carrot Actually, if I was uh, just to do reaction on her, I would do it even for three hours. Because most of the time, the things that she does in her channel, they don't make sense. Like, how would you come and talk about a person who is expectant, that that is karma? In which way? <laughs> let me know how we enjoy. Let her enjoy. She has been single for a very long time. Let her enjoy. Hey! I'm happy for her. Let her enjoy. And let her be. So that is it. Let's move on. Ahead, ahead we go. So my people, as we speak, Dim Mwango is in the Caribbean, still in Jamaica. She is in Jamaica. And we have had so many people coming out to say so many things about Dim Mwango. Oh, Dim Mwango is running away from Kenya because of the uh, pending uh, cause, uh, what is it called? Court case, yeah. Do you get the tingo? That Dimwango is running away from the court case between her and Jam Tours. So my people, I don't want I don't want to say a lot about this. Hey, there are some dogs that are out there. I hope they're not attacking anyone. Okay. So I don't want to say a lot about this. Dimwango knows what she's doing. And if really Dimwango owes Jam Tours, then I believe that in due course. In due course justice will be served justice will be served those are my words as a team d of course justice will be served if she owes jump to us i will not sit here and pretend that she does not owe jump to us or she owes him if she owes him then in due course whether it is one year 10 years 20 years from now justice will be served do you get the tingle because we cannot just uh, just keep on uh, maybe every day pampering, pampering, pampering. When she does something that is not okay, we need to tell her the truth. So if that is one of the reasons that she's running away from Kenya, Dimwango, hey, we love you, we love you. Um, in fact, I'm among your top supporters here in Kenya. If you all uh, jump to us, see what you can do about it so that we, we can move on ahead and ahead. So that is it. Let's go all the way to South Africa. Dimwango's brother, I am Marwa, and his wife, Ro, Rocio. He calls her Rocio Mom. They're in South Africa. And the other day, Marwa posted, made a post in his Instagram that our Rocio, our Rocio's iPhone was stolen. So they, they were doing a meet and greet with their fans in SA. And of course, I believe those are the fans of Maro. By the way, Maro is a big name. Why lie? Why lie? Maro is a big name. And Tim Maro, you all know, Maro is a big name. He is. So when he went to South Africa, they organized for a meet and greet. And in the process, while they were interacting with their, fan, with their fans, someone al allegedly stole Ma uh, Rocio Mom's phone. Do you get the tingle? And it is not just a phone. It is an iPhone. Actually, why am I calling it a phone? Hey, this mouth of mine. Why am I calling it a phone? That is an iPhone. Hey, and Maro bought it expensively. Hey, can someone buy for me an iPhone? Please, drop your comment if you can buy for me an iPhone. I need an iPhone. Actually, the iPhone that Maro bought for Ro, it's very expensive. It is above $1,000. That is a lot of money. And you know, someone can come out here and they want to attack me and tell me, oh, that is not expensive and all that. My friend, I'm speaking as a person who comes from a third world country. 
as a person who has faced a lot of financial challenges. Let me tell you, 1K dollars is a lot of money here in Kenya. And I know my Kenyans in the house gonna agree on that. So you can imagine Mara spent a lot of money just buying this iPhone. And of course, this is his woman and he needs to take care of his woman. I don't have any problem. If you have a man that can pamper you and give you whatever you need, what is the problem? Enjoy your life, girl, if you, if you have such a person. So the problem is this. I've been looking at uh, people uh, doing their reaction. And for the first time, I agree with some of the reactors. They talked about Rob being kind of careless. I agree with that. Let me tell you something. The first time they started traveling, uh, when they came out uh, from Nyabuhanse, they went to Nairobi. Did you see what happened? Her bag or her sling bag was snatched. And she lost, I don't know, it was it, a, uh, I don't know, the passport, whatever, ATM, and I think maybe an iPhone again. If I'm not wrong, please correct me on this. And then, as they have been traveling, every time we see Marwa reminding Ro to be careful with her items. There is a time when, when they were sitting in a hotel. I, was, I don't know which country they were in. Was it in Namibia? And they were to go and do self-service, you know, the buffet thing. So you get the tingle, the buffet thing. So do you know what Rocio did? She left her gadgets on the table. And remember, this is a restaurant. And actually, it's a big one. I don't know, it is a five-star. I'm going to pin it here if I'll be able to do that so that you can get the tingle. So Ro left her iPhone and other stuff there. I don't know, the GoPro camera and whatever. She left them on the table. And as she was going, Mara told her to be very careful, to go back for her precious things because those things are very expensive. But Ro was like, you know, you know that, <clears throat> that, you know, are you getting the tingle? Like that attitude, I don't care. You know, and Mara has always kept on telling her that since he has traveled for so many, many years, remember Mara has gone to over 70 countries in the world. He told Ro, that as a traveler, you need to be cautious. Do you get the tingle? That she should take care of her things. And if that is hard for her, she should give Marwa to carry for her. So our mama, Ro, be very careful. You cannot stress our man out there. You cannot stress our Marwa. Just take care of your property. And I saw an advice from one of the naysayers. And actually, it was a very good proposal. I, she should get that... Uh, street uh it is called what a sling bag you know that you know i hope you'll get the tingle that one that you can tie it here and then you just put your documents from the front so anytime you want to take something you just zip get whatever you want and you unzip and then you zip but every time it is just attached to your chest uh, to your chest do you get the tingle do you get the tingle i hope you do sometimes you have those ones that are put around the waist and that was a very good proposal if ro cannot take care of her things then let her not come out here and stress people because if you come out and tell your audience, in other words, you want them to help you get another iPhone. So Ro, as she travels, if, she, if that is a long-term goal, if that is what she wants to do as a traveler all over the world, then she needs just to be cautious. Look at our girl Dimwango. Every time she's walking on the streets of any country that she goes, she's always very alert, very, very alert. And you see the way she is always carrying her, whatever, her bag, whether it is her camera, the way she's holding her camera and all that. She's always cautious. And that is one thing that our mama has not grasped, has not grasped. You get the tingle. And Ro should be very careful, very, very careful. Because if now she has lost that iPhone, it means that she needs another one. And she should do something about it. Let her just be careful. That is my point. In fact, let me not uh, talk a lot about this. Let her just be careful with her property because that is where the real uh, gist is. Once she is careful and cautious, then she's not going to experience this because I believe in the long run, she may start, uh, she may start traveling alone. Do you get the tingle? Because I don't think if they'll keep on traveling, you know, Maro and Ro at the same time. At some point, she'll travel alone. What is going to happen to her when she is alone? So that is it. Again, still on Ro. 
This nurse says, want to finish our row. Leave our row alone. Let her carry her pregnancy in peace. Has she asked you to help her to carry the pregnancy? Is the pregnancy in your belly or in her belly? Let her be. There are these people that are trying to come out here and spread this narrative that Ro is a racist. If Ro was a racist, first things first, common sense. These are the legs of Masubo, Max One, On Trending, and these other, all, all other naysayers. If Ro was a racist, she would never had a relationship with Marwa. Never. Do you really know who a racist is? A racist is a person who cannot stand, mm -mm, cannot stand a person that does not come from their own race. Actually, they cannot interact with people that are not of their own race. How would she start a relationship with Maro to an extent of becoming pregnant if she was a racist? Hey, you people, you people, you people, you will not kill us here with your nonsense. We don't want your nonsense. There is no way she's a racist. The point that Ro is trying to put across is this. Anytime she travels to a country that does not have a lot of white people, all attention is on her. And it is because of the color of her skin. What else do you, why, why, or why do you think people will always be looking at her if it is not because of the color of her skin? That is the main, main, main reason why all the attention is on Ro. Otherwise, if she was just a black woman traveling with Maro, nobody would care. Ro made a comparison of Zimbabwe and South Africa. When you go to Zimbabwe and South Africa, we have a lot of white people. Let me, in fact, be very categorical. If you know history well, South Africa was colonized, uh, got their independence in 1994, just a few years ago. And we have a lot of white people in South Africa. There are so many. And Ro was just comfortable. At least, you know, people are not staring at her because she's a white woman with a black man. Like it is Kawaida. <laughs> Do you get the tingle? Do you get the tingle? <laughs> like it is Kawaida. It is Kawaida Kamadawa. That is our point. Not that she does not want to go where white people are. If you look at most of the videos that she did with Marwa, on the streets, out of 20 people, you'll get maybe one white person. That means that, of course, you are, the color of your skin is going to attract people to, uh, just to keep on staring at you. She's not a racist. Can you go and do your research? Go do your research properly. A racist is a person that cannot stand, cannot stand being close to any person that is not of their color. So that is it, my people. If you have watched this video up to this end, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to... Uh, subscribe if this is what you like if you like my work why don't you consider subscribing and my people don't forget to watch the ads up to the end thank you so much and goodbye for now